Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. And we're dealing with a question that comes uh, at the end of the year typically. It's a question about moving files over to personal accounts. Might be that somebody's graduating or retiring or, retiring or leaving the district and they'd like to take some of their files with them. And uh, so it's important for you to know that you can move files over to a personal account using Google Drive. Uh, and that the files that are in your Google Drive will eventually, um, while they won't be deleted, your account will be suspended and you'll have uh, less access to, that, to them. So you want to make sure that you get the files that you really need want to take with you over to a new personal account. So what I've done is I've already set up a personal Gmail account and uh, this is one that's just ending in at gmail.com. They're free. Go to gmail.com and you can set up a free account there. Then what I've also done is I've created a folder in my Google Drive in that personal account. In this case, I'm just going to call it files from work so it doesn't get too mixed in with all my other personal files in that account. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to my district side domain and I'm going to select the files that I want to work with. Now let's imagine that you don't want to take everything with you, just specific files. So in this case, I'm going to select some folders. that I might want to take with me. I'm on my Mac and I'm just holding down the command button to select specific folders, or I can just drag across. Or if you're in the old uh, Google Drive version of things, you can just go this way and check the boxes. Okay, so any which way that works for you is just fine. And what we're gonna do then is we're going to download those files. What this is going to do is take a copy of them offline and we're going to move these as is and I'm going to go ahead and download them. Okay, It's going to zip them together. It'll take a little bit of time for us to do that. And then once I get to the other side, we'll just do this part. Okay, Once I get to the other side, then all I'll need to do is simply file upload and I'll upload all of the files that I just was uh, downloading. It'll make a new copy of those files for me, but now at least I'll have access to them in the future. Um, it will it will break some of the connections of sharing and uh, any changes that are made on those other documents that still are in the district domain won't be shown on your new version, but at least you'll have a copy of it with you. Another option that you have though, is to go to a place called uh, Google Takeout. So google.com slash takeout. There it is. And what's really nice about this feature is you can take all of your things with you when you're done. So uh, if you are a part of Google Plus community, if you have a blog here in the district, if you have bookmarks, calendar appointments you'd like to take with you, all of your drive files, photos, anything from Hangouts and chat, mail that you'd like to take with you and even so much as your YouTube videos all of that can go with you on your way out. So I'm just going to select something small here and click next and then it will zip that file up for me and I'll be all set to go and I'll have a, a they'll email me when I get that far. It'll take just a little bit of time for it to go through and archive all of that. The larger the file, obviously, the longer it'll take. But then when I click download, put my password in, I can download that file here. It'll be a zip folder, which means that it's just smaller and more compressed. Let's see if we can find that zip folder quick. And then I can take that file, which is right here, you can see all of my files are inside of it and I can re-upload that just as I did before. File upload or folder upload depending on what I'm doing. Go grab my takeout file and upload it that way. Again, it's going to be a new copy of those items, but at least you'll have access to it. So there are two ways to transfer ownership of a document. You can either do it manually by downloading the files or you can do it more holistically using Google Takeout.